Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I actually went for a nice run slash walk this morning at the park. The weather was really, really nice. So I went out, got back home, had a bit of lunch and just chilled around the house. And now I'm ready to go back to the gym again. I'm thinking of doing a leg workout. I haven't had a decent burn session at the gym, um, especially for my legs. So I thought I would incorporate some bands, just use my body weight and do a booty burn kind of workout. So that's what I have planned for today. But before I head to the gym, I thought I would do a quick update. Since it has been four weeks, into my cut so this is end of month one I thought I would sit down and share with you what my nutrition looks like well looked like for the first one month uh, what I trained how I trained and you know maybe a couple of lessons that I learned um, or some tips that I have for you that I want to share so yeah that's what this video is going to be about so let's talk about nutrition first uh, one of the first things I've done for month one was to take away carbs from my diet and I didn't want to do it um, for all of the different meals that I was eating so I thought I would just take away carbs from my lunch uh, just a small change so that it's easy to adapt to and easy to maintain and lunch was the best option for me to take the carbs away from because I packed my lunch to work and yeah it was just something really really easy to incorporate if you are going through your own weight loss or fat loss journey, that's one thing I recommend. Don't try to make a whole, whole heap of changes at once. Pick one thing that you want to change, try it out for a couple of weeks, and once it gets comfortable and easy to follow, make more changes. So yeah, carbs was the only thing that I've changed um, as part of my nutrition for the first month and protein remained the same so I took my body weight um, that I started off with and I times it by two and that was what my protein was so for example I started at around 54 kgs um, I would times 54 by two and whatever uh, the amount is that's the amount of, um, amount of protein that I would take and as for fats I tried to maintain it around 30 to 40 grams because it was just easier but <clears throat> I did find uh, calculating fats a little bit hard um, just tracking them because you know you would use a little bit of oil when you're frying your um, eggs or just a little bit of oil when you are frying your different kind of protein so it was the hardest to track but I tried my level best to kind of keep in between 30 to 40 grams so yeah that was what my nutrition was to be honest in the first one month I did not expect to see a whole heap of changes in my body um, but I did start around 22.8% body fat somewhere around there and my goal was to get to 21.5%. I know I just said that I wasn't expecting to see a lot of changes but I did want to set myself a goal to see if I can get to it and I'm close to 21.5%. Um, my scale just keeps moving up and down um, on a daily basis depending on um, how much carbs I eat the night before so I don't really want to rely on the scale too much I just want to see how my body looks and go from there so that was it for nutrition um, and as for training I started cardio so I'm doing a steady state so steady state um, cardio what I try to do is I try to maintain my heart rate around um, 60 to 80 percent and how I check that is by using a heart rate monitor I've mentioned the polar fitness watch and the heart rate monitor I use in one of my fitness favorites videos um, so yeah I wear that regularly to the gym especially on the days that I'm doing cardio so that I can see how my heart rate is looking like so two steady state List walks um, and one high intensity training. Um, so, the high intensity training I usually do it on a treadmill um, and it lasts for about 15 minutes. So, I use the first five minutes to warm up, and once I'm fully warmed up, I would sprint for one minute and then I would drop down the speed so that I'm walking again for one minute and then I would sprint again and I would do that for about five um, reps. 
minutes. So that's about 10 minutes gone. And then again, um, I use the last five minutes to just cool down. So that's how my cardio looks um, for the first one month. I'm just trying to think if I've done anything else differently as part of training. Um, I just wanted to get my body used to the cardio. So I haven't put my body through a whole heap of cardio in the first one month. Um, that was about it and I was just doing my usual training. I trained my legs, my upper body, um, which includes biceps, shoulders and back. So that's just been what's going on in terms of training. So that's how the first one month looks. Um, like I said, if you are trying to lose weight, don't do it all at once. <laughs> Give your body a little bit of rest and just slowly train it. Just add little bits and pieces to your training if you're doing cardio. You don't have to do cardio every single day. Just throw in cardio for a couple of days so that you don't get bored. And once you kind of get used to that rhythm and routine, then add more cardio or add more time to the cardio. So at the moment, my steady states are about um, 20 minutes uh, and I'm going to change that up for month two. Um, actually, let's talk about month two and the changes that I'm going to be making so that I see more progress in month two than I did in month one. So let's talk about month two. Um, so I mentioned earlier that in month one I took away carbs from my lunch. Now I want to create more calorie deficit and the only thing I want to change um, in my diet is carbs. So I'm going to be taking away carbs from my breakfast as well. So month one I was eating oats and a piece of toast. Um, as part of uh, carb intake for my breakfast, now I'm going to be taking that away and just keep it simply eggs uh, for breakfast. So that's the little bit of change that I'm going to be doing. So that would mean the only carbs um, that I would be eating as part of my diet uh, would be post-workout uh, meal. So that would be for dinner. That's how I'm going to be creating calorie deficit and you kind of need to create a calorie deficit so that you lose weight. Protein, I'm going to keep it the same. I will check my body weight again, um, start tomorrow and I will multiply my body weight in kgs times two and that's how much protein I'm going to be um, having and fats, I'm just gonna keep it the same at 30 to 20 grams. No changes there. That's how my nutrition is going to look and as for training, I am going to increase uh, my steady state sessions. So at the moment I'm doing um, cardio for about 20 minutes on the treadmill, sometimes on the elliptical. Now I'm going to make that 30 minutes. Um, I'm still just going to stick to two cardio sessions, but I'm going to do two head sessions. So at the moment I'm only doing one um, 15 minute head session that's going to become two. So two lists and two hips is what's going to be coming up. And what else? I think my training, I'm just going to keep it the same. Um, my weight training, I don't really want to change anything with it. Um, it looks fine as it is for now. If I don't really see any change with these, um, with the changes that I made to my nutrition and also the change that I made to my training, I might tweak it a little bit. If I do any tweaks, I will let you guys know. But for now, that is it. That is the plan for month two.
Somehow, with all the hip thrusts and warm up I was doing, I managed to pull my hamstring and it hurts like hell. But I'm trying to push through it, I'm not trying to engage it. But it's just somehow feeling a little bit difficult for me right now. Um, so I'm gonna try to see how this workout goes. I'm trying to really stretch my hamstring. But yeah. Not sure if I haven't properly stretched enough or stretched a little bit too much. Not a good start. Not a good start to the workout. Because I haven't even started yet. bummed because I thought I, I really wanted to get like a really really good glute burn workout in today but you know sometimes you just gotta improvise when things like this happen so I'll try stretch for a little bit more walk around the gym see if that relieves the tension if it doesn't I don't know back or biceps that's what I'm gonna move on to